together. I wanted to start off by showing you a couple of our traffic cameras that are up on Mont Eagle and what you're going to notice is, well, there's not a whole lot to see, right? So you can see a little bit of some traffic moving through, but this is because Mont Eagle is basically stuck up in the clouds at this point. We have some low level clouds draped across our area, so foggy conditions for a lot of our mountaintops. Keep that in mind going up I-24, but even our local mountains having that reduced visibility. So here's a check of those clouds. You can tell that they're the low level ones because of that orange color that's showing up on here. That's the color scale indicating that. So if you're in valley locations, you're probably just noticing normal clouds in the sky. The problem is for our higher elevations. That means some of that fog for you. So something to certainly watch out for. Now, because of the clouds that have been over us through the nighttime hours, it is a mild start today. Temperatures have not dropped that much through overnight. 54 degrees currently in Murphy, but notice Cleveland, Dalton, Chattanooga, Scottsboro, all coming in at 59, 60 degrees, mild in Altamont at this time in Grundy County. Winds from the south southwest at five miles per hour. If you want to take a walk in the park, here's what you can expect today. So 59 and cloudy at 8 a.m., but starting to see a couple of breaks in the clouds by noon, 69, and then you're going to get a partly sunny sky by three o'clock in 79 degrees. So kind of just jumping up by 10 degrees for each of those hours. So it's going to be a warm day ahead with that breeze coming up from the south and gradually decreasing clouds. Slim chance today there could be a small spotty shower. I have it at 10%, really pretty slim for Wednesday at 20%. Our most likely rain days for the week ahead are going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then here's the good news. Those rain chances for Sunday for Easter have gone down. So again, slim there at that 10%. So kind of bigger focus Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We're going to really focus on Wednesday night into Thursday as a storm front gets closer to our area. So right now the radar is certainly drier compared to yesterday when we were tracking that rain to our west. And of course it moved in through the morning time hours. We're completely dry at this time and pulling back even further. You're going to notice nothing really to the west of us. So we're having that again drier weather today and tomorrow, but that'll change a little bit by tomorrow night into Wednesday. So here's a check at about 10 a.m. this morning, still dealing with those clouds. But notice as we go into the afternoon, all those breaks. So again, partly sunny skies for your afternoon. It's not going to perfectly clear out, but at least you're going to get some blue sky and sunshine mixed in. During that point, there may be a stray little chance for one of those spotty showers, as I mentioned for your Tuesday, but overall you're going to get to enjoy that suddenly breeze, the warm temperatures with highs in the upper 70s to low 80s today. As we look ahead to Wednesday, partly sunny skies for your Wednesday uh, throughout the day. That suddenly breeze gets even stronger and once again, generally staying dry during the daytime. The exception may be a stray shower. I want to take you to Wednesday night though. Here is this storm line to the west of us. Now this is interesting. So this is 1115. Notice as we go through the overnight how it kind of stalls out and fades out. So we really don't have to worry about the severe risk that much. In fact, even our rain chances on Thursday or scatter showers, the greatest likelihood for the Cumberland Plateau and then eventually Thursday afternoon moving into the valley. So I wanted to show you this updated severe outlook for Wednesday into Thursday. You're going to notice we're not all in that dark green color. In fact, we're just barely kind of clipped with that. So our far northwestern communities Wednesday night into Thursday morning still with that isolated chance there may be a strong to severe storm, but at least we're seeing some improvements that most of that severe activity is going to miss us with this event to the west. So more likely on Thursday, if you get anything, it's going to be uh, in the early morning time, some scattered showers, some regular thunderstorms, not having to worry about that severe threat.